Hey there, I'm Susie, and I recently did a video on a blog post checklist using a PDF printed out version. But what about my digital subscribers and readers and mamas who want everything on the computer? So I designed the blog post checklist to actually work also as a Kanban board on Trello. So if you love Trello, I've used it before and I currently use it on my team and for my team um, to help everything work together. So if you wanna use it, I've applied the blog post checklist to Trello as a Kanban board and I'm gonna go through it real quick to show you how it works and how you can get a copy of the board so you can apply the system to your process. So hi, I'm Susie. If you wanna to subscribe to my channel, I would super love it. It really helps me a lot. It means a lot to me. It's a lot of work trying to kind of create these videos when I have three kids in the background and hopefully they're not gonna open the door right now. Anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so here is the blog post checklist or the Trello board, the Kanban board for the blog post checklist. So what I have here, we're gonna go through every part so you kind of understand how this works, is I have the standard blog post as a template. So at the end of this video, you can get a copy of this entire Trello board so you don't have to recreate it. Um, there's different templates that you can use and kind of adjust to your needs. Currently they have the same checklist, but you can adjust them to kind of include different things in that checklist. So here is the standard blog post. It has the research checklist, the outline, the writing, and then finally the publishing and promoting, All right? So there's a lot of steps that goes into creating a blog post. So I would, if I were you, go through and create different types of blog posts. What you can do is you can use the standard blog post template that already kind of has 43 steps to creating an awesome blog post. And you can click on the copy and add it to the same kind of templates board, create the card there. And you can edit it to be, um, I don't know, um, the, the how to standard blog post, right? And then you can add more things to the checklist or you can remove them if you want to. You can change the label of it. And this could be our how to guides that we want to write, and that's gonna be yellow. And then we're gonna uncheck this one and this one. All right, so that's how you can create your own templates within Trello. And then when you're ready and you have a couple of templates that you wanna use, when you're ready, okay, I'm gonna write just a standard blog post. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna copy it to my ideas list board. And this is gonna be my new blog post and we're gonna create the card. So it's gonna put it right here. All right, so what I would suggest is as you're doing keyword research and topic research for your blog post, go through and add them as idea cards on your idea list. And then once you're ready to take this idea list, put it into, or take one of these ideas and create a blog post, put it into the next up, All right? So we have our top 10 Disney World hacks into our next up, um, in the queue for our Kanban to be written next. And then once you're going through the Kanban, you'll be dragging them to the next stop, right? So currently we're working on the 10 best Instapot for quick dinners. We're gonna go through, okay, I did the research, I did my outline, oops. Okay, today I crossed over a thousand words. I have my topics, I have short paragraphs, and now I'm starting to write. So as you're checking off the little boxes in Trello, it's kind of motivational because you can see the, the progress bar moving forward. So that's always nice. So you can go through and make sure you, you check off the ones that are applicable. And then maybe somebody calls you or you have to run an errand or you have to come back later to the blog post. You can always go back and then like, oh, okay, this is where I left off. I need to make sure to add my outbound links and my internal links and tags. Okay, and then you can step away. So it helps you keep track of kind of where you are and then once you're done with your checklist, so you can kind of see here at the bottom, which is kind of cool, see the entire checklist. So you've done 26 out of the 43 um, tasks. So as you finish them all, you're like, okay, I've published. All right, good, that's where I am. I am done with it, all right? But you're still not completely done because you haven't done the promotion yet. So as you're going through your blog posts, you can make sure that you cover all your bases. And then finally we can drag it to publish when we're done and you can go to the bottom and check off. Doesn't that feel good? Just all those little boxes and then boom, 43 out of 43 little check marks are in there and your blog post is complete. And then you can go to the next one and be start working on that one and move one into the next step. 
All right, so the way I got these cute little images in here, which is helpful because it, it's a quick guide and allows you to quickly see kind of the blog post that you're working on, is I just have all my images here on a folder. These are just random images I've gotten from the website, from the web. Um, and you can just go ahead and take one and then drag it straight onto Trello. How simple is that? All right, so there it is, cute little image. And as you're going through, you can move the cards along. This also works great. Maybe you have a VA or some kind of team working for you. Um, this would be fantastic. You can be the person that's dropping down the ideas and they could be the people on your team going through and making sure they cover all the bases for your, um, your criteria for your blog posts. So fantastic to use Trello with your team if you have a VA or a couple people working for you, or even just for yourself when you're just starting out with your blog to make sure that you're covering all your bases. All right, so this is a really cool way to use Trello to help you organize your blog and your um, your blog posts so that you know you're, you're creating the right things. Um, another additional cool little feature is you can add a due date to a blog post. So you can go in here and add um, a due date right here and say we're gonna assign it to next Thursday, click save. That'll add that little due date of September 12th to it. You can see this one was due September 2nd um, and it's in the publish button or publish list. So that's already done. You can also go to the calendar view and actually see your blog post on here. How cool is that? So you can see as you're writing them, okay, are you spacing them out correctly? And if you move them around here, they actually also update on the other side on your blog, um, on here, right? So we moved our top 10 Disney World hacks from the 17th, say to the 16th. If we go back, it's now the top 10 Disney World hacks is on the 16th. So Trello is fantastic to use, kind of organize all your blog posts and make sure you're covering the checklist. If you want a copy of this Trello board with the checklist already included, um, you can just go through at the bottom in the description, there's a link, you can sign up and get a complete copy of this. Once you come to the board, um, go to show menu, and click on, where is it? More, yeah, click on, yeah, click on more and click on copy board, because that's gonna help you copy this board to your own Trello account, all right? So thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, please hit the little subscribe button and the little bell button, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And if you want the PDF version of this blog post checklist, um, again, it's in the resources below, or if you want the Trello board, it's there as well. Again, I'm Susie. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.